Magnetic North has never sat still. It moves because of the liquid metal layer in the Earth's outer core. That core is constantly swirling, and these currents pull on the magnetic field, causing it to move. And it's the change in speed of the rotation of different parts of that outer core that means the, magnetic, uh, the movement of the magnetic north pole is not the same speed through time. As a matter of fact, in the last 100 years, the magnetic north pole has moved south and then started inching northward in northern Canada, moving about seven miles each year. However, over the last several years, magnetic north has shifted into high gear and is heading towards Siberia, Russia, at 34 miles per year. Knowing where magnetic north is is important for navigation systems. And we all have them on our phone, whether we have an Android or Apple phone. It's all those location map apps that you use all the time. So the government had to update the model used to pinpoint the location of magnetic north. So these maps are used for all kinds of things, including navigation of aircraft, of uh, military vehicles, for understanding where people are on Earth. Honestly, this doesn't make a huge difference to people who are not living very close to the pole. It really only affects folks who are quite close to the magnetic north pole. So your navigation app won't steer you off a cliff? No, they're not going to be driven off a cliff. Those apps are going to take on board this updated magnetic field map and as a result of that, they won't see any difference themselves in their phones. They're good. Like long-range weather forecasts, it's hard to predict what is next for Magnetic North. We can say for certain that it is going to continue to move. We cannot say necessarily if it's going to get faster or stay this fast or get slower again. Bill Ray, CBS 17 News, Raleigh.